What is going on guys, Norbert here back again with another video and we are back in the studio back in Arizona. I had a really great trip and the last two weeks have just been really, really crazy. If you don't know, I released my TikTok product testing agency and we've literally been able to find over 10 winning products just in the past two weeks using our proven methods with these clients. So I wanted to send out this update to kind of talk about what I do, how we did it and how we were able to find over 10 winning products in just two weeks. So in order to understand how I got to where I am today, you have to see what I've done in the past. So the TikTok product testing agency is a fairly new service that I've been experimenting with over the past few months. And yes, the results have been very, very great, but this is not my first rodeo. I know exactly what I'm doing and I know exactly how I can scale TikTok ads to over eight figures in sales. And the reason I know this is because I have done it before just with Facebook ads. So I wanna talk about for a minute how I was actually able to generate multi eight figures in sales using Facebook ads and drop shipping. So I initially saw a little bit of success in e-commerce as a whole, e-commerce and Facebook ads in late 2017. So early 2018, I started very heavily replicating my methods and getting better and better. And I was able to scale to a total of a million dollars in sales within just six months of starting e-commerce. So I got in, learned a method, mastered it, figured it out really, really quick, got really, really good, really fast, took on a bunch of stores, found a bunch of winning products and scaled to over a million dollars in sales literally within six months. It was crazy. That's when I knew that e-commerce was the business model for me. And of course, just over four years, just kept on rinsing and repeating that process, bringing on new stores. I started working with you know great people that have built successful businesses and I was able to help bring them to the next level. Our most recent client, we took from 30K a day to over $80,000 per day in sales in just about a month and a half of working with them. So Facebook ads is kind of my cup of tea. It's kind of what I spent the last four years of my life really mastering. And over these four years, I've been able to generate a little bit over $20 million in sales using e-commerce and Facebook ads. So how does this tie into what I'm doing with TikTok ads and where I plan on taking it and how I've been able to get to where I am today? So probably four or five months ago, I started noticing TikTok ads being a really great opportunity or potentially a great opportunity. I didn't really understand them at the time, but knowing that it was something that was worth testing and at least looking into and giving it my best shot at trying to figure it out, I started a mastermind group with like six or seven other people with the collective goal of figuring out TikTok ads, right? Like the best way to learn is to teach and the best way to teach is to start a little mastermind where you can teach other people what you've learned and they teach you what they've learned. And if you work as a group, you can figure something out really, really fast, especially considering not only are you learning from your own testing, but you're also learning from the other people around you, um, which is really, really powerful. And it basically allows you to like kind of put your results on hyperdrive and it kind of speeds up the process of learning the platform. So literally after a few weeks, like four people in that group, including myself and a few other guys, were able to find a winning product and be profitable. One of them actually found multiple winning products on multiple stores. So the methods that we were using and the methods that we were creating were already being proven to work amongst different people, different stores, different products, different situations. We were testing out a lot of different strategies and it was just working really well. And then that's when I started to realize like, wow, TikTok could be something big that is worth chasing. So I kind of stuck with the mastermind for a few months, um, just wanted to continue using the methods and continue getting better and better, um, which I was able to find a winning product. A couple people on my team saw what we were doing and started messing with TikTok ads as well. And they also found winning products. I also started networking with other people that were doing TikTok ads for a while now and were already doing, you know, 5K plus per day in sales. And I started learning some of their methods and implementing them on my stores. And eventually I even got to a point where I was so confident in my methods that I did a 48 hour TikTok ads challenge where I essentially gave myself two days to find a product, build a store, launch the ads and scale it and try to make it as much money as I possibly can within two days. If you want to check out that video, I documented the whole process. I showed the product, the ad creation, how we scaled it. I'll put the thumbnail right here and you can hop over to my channel and watch it. But essentially I was able to find a winning product on my first try and literally the next day scaled it to $1,500 in sales. I think we made about $350 in profit. That was a really big eye opener because to me with Facebook ads, it's a game of consistency and with TikTok ads, it's also a game of consistency, but the mere fact that I popped a winner on my first try and filmed it was super good proof to me that this is definitely an opportunity that was worth chasing. 
So if you don't know this, I have been operating a marketing agency where we essentially take on a client, build them a store, give them products to test, find them a winner, and then scale them once a winner is found. This is how we've been able to scale to such high figures because instead of managing one or two stores for myself, I can manage you know 50 or even more stores for other people. And of course we take a percentage of profit and that's kind of how we've been able to make our money. So knowing this and then seeing the opportunity that comes along with TikTok ads, I had this brilliant idea of like, hey, why don't I start a TikTok ad agency and see if we can bring other people's stores to success so that we could kind of take a cut of a lot of different stores and just scale to really high numbers super efficiently. So I started a little beta test group and we only let one person in, you know, just so that we can build our systems and processes for actually being able to like build the store, run the products, scale them once a winner is found, you know, all these sort of systems that we have to have in place in order to actually operate the agency. We knew that we were able to find this client a winner but we didn't know like how long it would take or how big it would actually get. But to our surprise, this client was actually able to scale up to about $3,000 a day in sales literally on his first product test. This was probably the best thing that could have possibly happened because it allowed us to build our systems, get results, know that what we have works really well. And obviously this client was hyped. It was a great time. We built our systems, we got ready. And most importantly, we proved that not only can we you know, work inside of the mastermind with friends and work on our own stores and find winners and be profitable, but we can also take a completely separate store, you know, completely separate from what we do and make somebody else's store profitable and make money just like we have been with Facebook ads. Like just the fact that our methods reached this point, like literally within two to three months blew my mind. It was an amazing experience. And again, it showed me like, holy shit, TikTok ads is a great opportunity and we should be jumping on this and we should be trying to scale it as high as we possibly can. So this brings us to about two weeks ago when I publicly launched the agency service. My goal here was to take on about 20 20 clients so that we could really push the agency through some numbers and do like a, a bigger test, you know, basically get more proof that our systems work before trying to scale, you know, any sort of agency or, or bring on too many clients. We really wanted to essentially test out mass testing. Like, can we find winners consistently at scale? And we proved exactly that. But the interest was incredible. I literally got hundreds of DMs, like within me putting up the, the Instagram story post and talking about how I was releasing this. I talked about the results that we've gotten so far. So many messages, my team couldn't even keep up with them. We had people that were unread for days. I think the main reason people were so interested is just because our methods were so proven out. And you know, we were able to find, I think at that time, like 10 to 15 winning products for other people and also inside of the mastermind group. I found a few on my own stores at this point as well. So I mean, it it kind of makes sense, right? That people would be interested. So at this point, not only did we prove that we are able to actually build these stores to success, but also that there's a lot of interest and a lot of you guys actually want us to be able to do this for you. So essentially what we did was we signed up about 20 clients in three days and literally shut it down. We're like, look, we can't take on any more. And the reason is because we needed to build out our systems and we needed to make sure that we could actually deliver the service, you know, in a way to where we can actually get results. We also wanted to focus a lot of attention on less amount of clients rather than having divided focus among a lot of clients, at least in the beginning, just so that we can really hone in on our ad strategies and focus on getting these clients the best results that we possibly can. And I planned on making this exact video about two weeks later after I publicly launched the agency just to talk about the results and let you guys know how it's going because I know a lot of you guys watching probably saw me do the promo and I know a lot of people were really on the fence like, hey, it's a new service, you know, maybe I don't wanna join because you guys are still working out your systems and I completely understand that um, and that's why I'm I'm making this video to show you guys that we actually pulled it off and right now we are consistently finding winning products for our clients using TikTok ads. So I'm gonna pop up some of the results on the screen. So obviously we haven't been able to reach any like incredible, you know, crazy six figure stores or anything like that. But it's only been two weeks and most of the clients that have popped winners, it's been like in the last like five to 10 days, simply because a lot of it was preparation and getting the ad buyer onboarded and stuff like that. So don't expect too crazy results. Keep in mind that most of these results were literally found in the last five to 10 days. We literally just launched this service about two weeks ago. I know if you compare it to the results that we get with the Facebook ad agency, it's not that much. But when you consider that the Facebook ad agency has been open for four years versus the TikTok agency has been open for literally two weeks. I think it's justifiable and I don't really think I have to explain it that much. What we're seeing is a very consistent success rate of like one out of eight, one out of 12 products, like somewhere between that range. And our clients are actually finding winners 
very consistently. We have our product research system down. We have our store build system down. We have our product preparation system down. We have our ad testing strategy down. And we also have our scaling strategy down up until the point of about 5K a day. I'm gonna be honest, we don't have that much experience past the 5K a day point, but obviously that's going to change as we scale more stores, find more winners and get more stores past that point. So I'm super happy. And if you did join the agency and you did find a winning product, I'm super glad. And I'm glad that I was able to bring these results into your life and at least show you that e-commerce is possible and hopefully we are able to scale that product and you can make some good money, go off on your own, keep replicating the systems and you know build this business for yourself because at the end of the day, that's our goal is to bring results so that we can change more lives. And when we change lives, it makes me feel really good inside. So low key, I kind of do it for a selfish reason because it makes me feel good. So what are my plans moving forward? How do I plan on scaling way bigger and taking more advantage of this new opportunity? Essentially, I really wanna hone in two things our product preparation strategy, because the way that we do it now is essentially with one product stores, which by the way, I have tons of videos on my channel about TikTok ads. I've been uploading for the past couple of months and documenting this entire journey. So you can go back and kind of learn about the things that we've done up to this point, but I really want to hone it in. Like I really want to, you know, test a lot of different things and figure out, you know, what's the actual best way to build your store. What's the actual best way to build your description, you know, set up your product page, stuff like this. Another thing that I want to do is is hone in the ad strategy. Now, I don't know if you've seen the crazy way that we build our ad strategies, but it's essentially a Google sheet and the way to build an entire ad strategy requires thousands of tests. So we are currently in the process of developing a strategy, even though we have one that works right now, we are working to find one that is gonna work a lot better and then stick to that method so that we can actually scale it really, really big. And then I do wanna say for those of you who want to actually join the agency, there will be a link in the description, but for this TikTok ad agency, I am going to be limiting it to 60 clients. And the reason I chose 60 is because we've had 60 clients at one time before, and we know that we can manage it. We know that we can handle it. And more importantly, we know that at that level, we can put enough focus and attention into each client to where we can give our all and bring the best results. And that's really what I wanted to do with this TikTok agency. Whereas with the Facebook agency, we ran it, we let as many clients in as we wanted to, and we handle it just fine. And we also find like one to two new winning products every single day in, inside of that agency for the clients. But if we have less clients, but higher quality clients, we can kind of go deep with 60 instead of going wide with 100 and make more of an impact essentially. So like when somebody finds winning product, we scale it, they reinvest, we'll do another store with them, find them another winning product so they can scale that one. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is I don't really think that we need more than 60 clients or so to hit our goals. And obviously my goal is to hit $100 million in total revenue generated. We just passed 20 million, so we're one fifth of the way there. And I believe that with TikTok ads as the opportunity and with Facebook ads, I believe we can hit that goal by the end of next year. So approximately like one and a half years from now, I think we'll be there. And I don't wanna hype you up too much, but I might be releasing a coaching program. So if you guys are interested in working with me directly one on one, I can tell you right now, I have a lot going on. I have two businesses. Plus I'm investing in real estate and putting a lot of focus over there right now. So it will not be cheap. But for those of you who do want it, I'll be putting a lot of attention on you guys. And that's the reason it's not going to be cheap because not only do I have to spend the time, you know, actually on the calls training you, but I also have to spend the energy off of the calls, you know, thinking of the best way to help you and making a plan to help you hit your goals. So I've done it a couple of times. I actually took on a TikTok ad student like a month or two ago just to see how it would go. And he actually found a winning product and you know, it went really, really well. I think it's been a great experience for him. So maybe I'll do it. I don't know. It's kind of hard to justify like taking attention off of my own things to help somebody else one on one directly especially when we have an agency that can essentially do the same thing completely automated for both you and me. If there is interest out there, I may be open to doing it. I just want to hear it from you guys that you are interested. So that's it for this video. I hope it was valuable hearing my story and I hope that it motivates you to keep going. And I hope that you're excited to see where we're able to take this because I think we're going to be able to take it really, really high and go really, really big with the TikTok ads world, um, especially with the team that we built and the strategies that we're going to be building and the clients that we sign on. We're just going to have so much experience. And if we've been able to, you know, accomplish what we've accomplished so far in this short amount of time, I think over the next few months, we're going to be able to double, if not triple the results that we've seen, probably even more. Honestly, I'll make another video updating you guys, but that's it for this video. This is Noah Brewer and I'm out. Peace.